Hello, my name is Robert and this is the second episode of the Artificial Intelligence series in Unreal Engine 4. So I'm going to go into my AI and I forgot to set the controller last time. Um, so if we, go, we want to get AI self and we want to get AI controller and by the way, uh, we want to, well we obviously want to choose the one that we made in the last episode so if yours was cookie controller you want to put cookie controller not AI controller okay so after that we want to go into the character movement and we're going to look for max walk speed and we're going to lower it a little bit uh, to 400 so it cannot so it's not like um, Complete chasing us uh, all the time, like and being like right stuck to us. Okay, so we're going to compile. Okay, so now we want to select the state variable that we did in last in the last episode, and we want to set the default value to chase. And this is because if we set it to idle right when the code starts uh, if the artificial intelligence is seeing you it will not chase you it will stay on idle so now we want to create an event tick with a sequence following it and i'm going to actually move this a bit down so we have space and the sequence is for when we add more stuff and I actually want you to print a print string right here uh, so we can see what state uh, we're, uh, it's working with and now we want a switch on AI state and it will show um, excuse me I'm gonna Okay, I, I thought I was going to, um, I thought I was going to sneeze, uh, sorry about that. So, um, we want um, uh, to set the delta seconds to the duration of the print string so that we are only seeing um, one, one word per frame, one string per frame. With, so that basically we don't have our um, <clears throat> screen littered with a bunch of words that we will just not be able to read. So now we want to select the um, pawn sensing and if we do that uh, we want to select the add event for pawn sensing and we want the add on C pawn. So now what we want to do is the cast third person character and we're going to set the pawn to the object and if you're using first person ca uh, character then you want that okay so we want this cast uh, basically so that it knows um, what the uh, pawn is sensing to know what object object it's sensing but we have a problem Let's say that we have um, our pawn uh, looking through the th looking through a wall, and on the other side uh, we were there. He would be able to see us, and he would come to chase us. So basically, to solve this, we're going to create a uh, function that we will call um, path clear to player. Okay, so now that we created our function, we want a line traced by channel. And we want to make sure that the trace channel is on camera. And I want you to uh, put the draw debug type uh, for, sorry, for duration so that we can see the, the line. But um, when you um, this is just for testing purposes. So, 
for the start we want the get actor location which is where it will start which is uh, where the actors at and we also want if we get our player reference get the get and we, well, let's duplicate this and we put it in the end uh, what this will do is it will fit the line trace will go from the actor from the AI to ourselves to a, to a player okay so now we want a um, break hit result and we want to get the hit actor and we want to do a cast to third person character so we know that it's um, bouncing that it's banging into ourselves so we want to return nodes and we want to add a output which will be called is the path clear so if uh, the cast did not fail we obviously want to set this to true and if the cast has failed we want to set it to false just like that and now what we want to do is uh, oh sorry we actually have to do the function of pure function so we want to check this box and if we go into the event graph we want to do a branch and the um, if we get our function we can set this to the condition and basically we want uh, we just want to make it pure uh, really just so that it doesn't use too much space because if we if it was impure we will have we will need the executable pins which are completely unnecessary okay so now we want a gate and the um, well let's just grab this from the idle and we want the enter to be from the idle because we want uh, this to execute every single frame but we only want to open the gate if it's actually seeing us which is what all this code does although we do want a custom event right here so it knows when to close it and it's just a this is name close uh, sorry about this close chase gate okay uh, so and on the exit well actually we have to make a function and this function will be named change state okay so if we um, click on this we want to create a new input and we want to name this uh, new state and we want to set um, to AI states or whatever name um, you put so we want uh, a character movement we want to grab this and we want to grab the stop active movement uh, basically because if it's for example if it's chasing us and it doesn't stop and it goes into the patrol um, it will keep chasing us okay so we want to grab this new state and we want to set the states um, uh, um, variable okay and we do want to make sure that this is impure okay so we're going to compile so now that we have our function we want to go into the event graph and we want to get the change state 
and we want to uh, set this and we want to set the new state uh, we don't want idle we want chase so this is all for today and the next episode we will we'll try to finish the, uh, the other states which are chase and attack so if you enjoyed this video please subscribe like and comment and see you in the next one bye